Hi guys, uh, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. Today I wanted to talk to you about SVTs uh, or supraventricular tachycardia and the best way to try and get out of a supraventricular tachycardia episode when you're in one. All right. Now, SVT or supraventricular tachycardia is not an uncommon condition. It's a heart rhythm disturbance. It tends to affect um, all uh, age groups, but is commonly seen in younger people as well. And basically what happens is that uh, some people have an extra pathway in their heart um, and what happens is the normal electrical impulses just go down the normal kind of wiring but once in a while you can get the impulses going down the normal wiring but then coming up this extra pathway uh, leading to a short uh, circuiting of the electrics of the heart and this can cause a very fast heart rate so usually the way it will manifest is the patient is fine uh, doing their own thing and then for some reason suddenly like a light switch their heart starts beating very fast and that it often beats at around about 160 180 beats per minute it's regular but it's very fast and one of the problems then people have is that they're sitting there and they feel uncomfortable because the heart is going so fast um, and they're always wondering well how do I come out of it now a lot of people who've had this from a young age have managed to work out often managed to work out ways of coming out of it so some people say look I just lie down and relax some people say I rub my eyes uh, some people say I just deep take deep breaths in and out um, and um, sometimes these methods work however uh, one method which has uh, been shown to work is the Valsalva maneuver and basically what the Valsalva maneuver is is that you're basically trying to blow out you're trying to blow out against a closed airway so in essence what you're trying to do is you're trying to strain and you're trying to blow but there's nowhere for this air to go so you're actually it's almost like straining so for example imagine if you're on the toilet and you need to strain uh, so you would uh, you would sort of blow but you wouldn't really let anything come out so you're increasing the pressure inside the chest and that um, often works uh, well not often but that can work in terminating an SVT episode the easiest way to do this is to acquire a syringe um, from uh, a local sort of uh, chemist or um, or your local hospital if you suffer from SVTs and the nozzle of the uh, syringe you know is uh, what you do is you put that in your mouth form a tight seal around that and then blow as hard as possible to try and start getting the plunger out you know trying to move the plunger out the other end uh, and that is a Valsalva maneuver and it is no it is um, felt that this is effective in about 17% of the time, right? 17% of the time doing a really good Valsalva maneuver can help stop the SVT. However, today what I wanted to do was share with you uh, a really interesting study called the Revert Study, where they found a better method to try and get out of SVTs. Uh, the problem with this kind of thing is if a Valsalva maneuver doesn't work, then the poor patient has left. You know, it's terrifying to have such a fast heart rate. They then often have to go to hospital, and in hospital they're given this thing called adenosine, which is a really horrible. Um, it's 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 a, it's an agent which can be very effective, but it does cause the heart to slow down very excessively, causes chest tightness, and gives patients this feeling of impending doom, which they don't like. This lasts only a few milliseconds, but still, it's a very uncomfortable sensation, and a lot of people dread the thought of having to go to hospital to get adenosine to come out of their SVT. So, if we can work out ways in by, by which we can improve the likelihood of getting out of the SVT using the Valsalva maneuver, then that's clearly something that a lot of people would appreciate. So today I wanted to share a study which was called the Revert Study where they added an extra modification to this Valsalva maneuver uh, and that seemed to improve the success rate of coming out of SVT from 17% to almost 43%. Uh, and so basically what these guys did is what they found was that actually what you should do if you're in an SVT episode is to uh, sit, uh, sit down so that your legs are flat and your... Um, body is at a 45 degree angle so you're basically sitting with your head up um, and then what they recommend is that you blow into this um, syringe for example uh, at the nozzle end blow as hard as possible to try and get the plunger out and then once you've done that what they recommend is that you lie back so you lie flat back uh, 
flat on the bed that you're on and lift your legs right up. And what this does is it increases the amount of blood going back to the heart. And if you do this, then they find that the success rates of coming out of the SVT improve some, from 17% to 43%. Uh, if it doesn't work once, you can do it again, uh, but that seems to substantially improve the success rates. So I hope you found this useful. Um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll put a, a link to the study, uh, which was published in the Lancet. Uh, and actually, if you look up the study, they actually have a video of how to do it. So that would be quite useful for a lot of people. So do watch the video and the appendices uh, of the study. There is a video on how it's done. Uh, but it would be something well worth trying when you're at home and if you're unfortunate enough to have an SVT episode. Great. Now, um, as you know, we're doing a seminar in New York on the 4th and 5th of August. Um, a lot of people have written to me, said, look, you know, we're in the States. It would be so nice if you were in the States. Uh, we could come and see you. Well, the great news about this is that on the 4th and 5th of August, I will be in New York. I will uh, be offering free consultation so there is no charge you can come ask me anything you like and I will try and answer your questions uh, no charge for this at all um, but uh, the only real cost is the, the, if you come for the seminar for the two days then there is a meal and you we just uh, there is a charge for the meal but nothing else uh, there's a series of really interesting talks. I'll be there. I'll be talking about POTS and I'll be talking about ectopic heartbeats and I'll be talking about atrial fibrillation. Um, so it would be a wonderful opportunity if, if you happen to be there for us to meet and ask, you can ask me anything you want. Uh, if you're interested, please consider visiting www.hearthealthweekend.com. Also, if you found these videos useful, please, please, please consider sharing them, subscribing to my channel uh, and uh, leaving a, a comment. I would be very grateful. Thank you so much and all the best. Bye.